Hey everyone, what's going on? So, going into this next month or the next 30 days, we are going to give up social media. So this will be a social media detox challenge. You guys are more than welcome to join me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and break everything down on what we're gonna do for the next 30 days. Uh, I think it will be a great reset and just to kind of get our get our minds you know out of the gutter so to speak out of this constant noise that we're having all the time so I'll go ahead and explain it to you so I'm gonna keep this pretty simple like I'm just gonna do a video every week you know just to catch up on things and to really just kind of take a break you know kind of detox from the phone I'm on there enough as it is and um, I just realized that this is something I actually really needed for myself and possibly you guys do too. I'm obviously going to keep up with YouTube, but I just want to take a break from just, you know, lots of posts and, you know, messaging friends on comments and stuff like that, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Snap, chat, TikTok of all, of all, you know, just being one of the worst ones out there. I mean, a majority of people check their phones between 80 to 300 times a day. Well, let that sink in. Majority of people, if not everybody, so we're talking like 98, 99% of the population, check these phones here, okay? Check these phones 80 to 300 times a day. Guys, take a break. Take a break with me, okay? We got some options here though. So, this is my old phone. How I had everything set up was I moved everything to the last widget. So I have about, you know, like, so I got three windows here. Last one, I got all my media apps on here. So this is one option that you can do. That way it's not the first app that pops up on your home screen or in the first widget of your phone, okay? so that could help you with taking a break. I've only done social media detoxes or fasting from social media, done some videos in the past on this, for about a week. And then I hopped back on the bandwagon because I was, you know, making content and posting it and all of that stuff. You know, being a content creator, I want to keep up with this, but I don't use every single platform. You know, I only use a few. So, the other option is Use grayscale. Make your phone gray. I use grayscale daily, even on this one. And uh, it just keeps me from doom scrolling, you know, doing this constantly, okay? Uh, your eyes are really attracted to vivid colors. You know, we're always, evolutionary speaking, we're always looking for the next thing that pops that attracts us and looks clean and nice, you know? We want those things in our lives and so, Really, you know, the developers of these apps have done themselves well, you know, just trying to make this as much of a, uh, as much of a uh, necessity as it needs to be when it really doesn't. And they really do make these damn phones really useful. They're too damn useful. And it's replacing a lot of things in our lives. But that just came with the digital age. So, Grayscale is another great option on this challenge. The last option will be, since we're taking a break for at least 30 days, just delete the apps. I'm not saying delete your accounts, completely start over. You could do that, but what I'm saying is, is just delete the apps from your phone. Keep your accounts, whatever. Just take a break. All right? Our minds are literally rotting and turning into scrambled eggs from looking at this stuff on a constant basis. I don't even start my day with my phone, unless if I have... Um, an important post to make but other than that you know or if I'm making a video that's the only thing I really use my phone or my cameras for and getting online it's uh, it's too easy it's too easy to do and I feel like we always have this need of this constant distraction this constant validation from people that we don't even know so again if this is really bad for you go ahead and just delete the apps for a little bit. I'm sure 30 days isn't going to kill you. And replace it 
with the next things I'm going to talk about. So what I want us to do is I want us to at least read 10 pages a day. I figured that's doable. If you can get five in, great. If you can, if you can get in 10, hey, that's the goal. So 10 pages a day of maybe your favorite book can be fiction or nonfiction. Learn a new skill or a lesson from what you're reading. The one book I'm going through again is uh, King, King, Warrior, Magician, and Lover by Moore and Galette. King, Warrior, Magician, Lover by Robert Moore and Douglas Galette. I'm going through, this is my second read right now. It's a great book. There's a lot that I'm getting out of this right now, learning from it and everything. Learning about the masculine archetypes. I just love it. And it doesn't even have to be it doesn't even have to be fiction. It doesn't have to be a fantasy story. You could literally learn something. Another book that I'm reading part-time right now. Um, I just started picking it up again too over the last couple of weeks. Your Body's Many Cries for Water by Dr. Batman Galidge. And it talks about the importance of hydration, supplementing water intake, and salt intake to replace and correct a lot of inflammatory problems, histamine responses, allergies, um, aches and pains due to like rheumatoid arthritis and arthritis and things of that nature, plus a, a ton more. Energy, sleep, focus, having more energy, like, uh, the list is endless, but um, again, you know, opinions may vary, but this is a great book and it just taught me to just keep up with my water and to make sure I'm getting enough natural electrolytes in my, in my daily drinking water and in my diet. A few other options I wanted to throw your guys, uh, throw your way was micro journaling once a day or every other day. How micro journaling works is you're basically going to keep either a diary or just a, a journal, literally a notepad, and you're just going to jot down thoughts that you're having for the day, maybe what, what or how you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. Like really, really dissect your thoughts. You're not your thoughts. Not every little thought that pops in your head is you, okay? I feel like we deceive ourselves a majority of the time mainly because we have these other thoughts that were actually put into us subconsciously from either what we were watching or what we were seeing on, well, via social media or in a video. So that's another option I'm going to leave on the table you guys can try out. Micro journaling. Uh, it's something I'm probably going to pick up again. I used to journal a lot when I was younger, you know. Uh, I still journal, uh, typically just writing down thoughts and ideas that I'm having and also just ideas in general. I think it's great. Just It's a great way to express yourself and just to kind of get some things out on the table, get some things off your chest. But the best thing about it is it's just it's just about you. It's, it's you putting your thoughts out there on the pen and paper. And you're, you are basically making a checklist of, of yourself and what's going on in your life. You know, and uh, that's one way that journaling can be useful, I feel like. So micro journaling. We're going to try that this month as well. I'll give it a shot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow through with it, but I definitely want us to be reading at least 10 pages a day. I feel like reading is similar to meditation, and we practice that on this channel. On this channel, we read. Okay, Readers are leaders. Reading doesn't solve every single problem that you have in your life, but it definitely does something to your mind when you're reading a dead tree. Like, it, it does something to your mind where it calms you down, it takes away the anxiety, and you learn to be present, to focus on the words and the sentences that you're creating in your head for the story that you're creating in your mind, or the skill or subject that you're learning about in your mind, and how you can use it in everyday life. One last thing too, meditation helps out a lot. We do this on the channel, I do this. It really brings you back to the present moment. Even just 10 minutes a day, 
If you're really distracted, I would recommend maybe doing 30 minutes a day. And if you can't do it every other, you know, if you can't do it every day, do it every other day. If you can't do it every other day, do it, you know, once every three days. Okay. I'm not trying to make this too hard for you guys, but I was able to make it a part of my life and continue to use it in my life. I don't do it all the time anymore, but when I, when I think about it, depending on, you know, life schedule and all that, I'll sit down for a good 10 minutes and I'll be in that 10 minutes. Like I'll, I'll be there. I've trained my mind to do that and I've made it a part of my life. And now everything that I do dealing with meditation, you know, cause I live a Zen lifestyle. I, I try to make everything that I've learned from meditation, like in, incorporated from meditation, you know, just those practices and lessons that I've learned that meditation has actually taught me. So when I'm working out, I'm fully in the moment, I'm present, I'm focused could be cooking, could be reading, like I mentioned earlier. I could be writing something. I get in flow, especially when I make content and, and the like. So meditation is another option I'm gonna leave on the table for you guys as well. And with that, that's it. So pick out a book that you guys wanna read this month, your favorite book even, and uh, let's read 10 pages a day and let's take a break from our phone. Delete the social media apps if you have to, we're going to we're going to go deep within ourselves and we're going to figure some things out and we're going to learn a little bit more about ourselves this month. And I think this would be this would be really good for me too. I honestly need this. I need to take a break. Life gets really busy as it is and I think just adding more distractions from just the phone at the tip of our fingers just doesn't really make things that much easier I feel like in our life. If anything it just keeps us more distracted from being present and living in the present moment. So that's that. All right, you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.